Okay, now here's the part that I think is unforgivable on our end. Mm -hmm. It gives us a visual cue. Fuck. Like, there was no reason for us to fuck that up. To be fair, what does that mean? I don't know, but well, uh, it's a radio tower. It's a blinking it's an keyhole. It's an antenna sending out radio waves. It's we, a blinking keyhole. We could have figured that out. Anyway, let's send it. <laughs> <laughs> Bet y'all haven't seen this game in a while, huh? I haven't. Anyway, last time we uh, reached an ending, uh, which was unusual. I don't think either of us were expecting that. Yeah. But we missed the very obvious uh, cue here to do the thing. To do the thing. Uh, I'm glad we did miss it last time, though, because we got to see an ending that wasn't part of the adaptation we've seen. Because mm -hmm. we're familiar with the anime adaptation. Yeah. Um, which presumably follows, I guess, the, the canon or true end route here, whatever. Um, but that was really cool. However, now that we know what the fuck to look for... <laughs> let's keep going. Let's keep fucking going here. Let's actually send that and not go into weird time loop where we want to kill our friends. The discharge begins immediately. You might want to get that checked out by a doctor, Okabe. I placed my thumb on the send button. No, I changed my mind. <laughs> you gotta read the lines out. Are you sure? Mayuri's voice is choked with tears. <laughs> Our memories with Suzu-san will disappear. Is that really okay? Memories flash through my head. Speak for yourself. I'll still have them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my, it's the same thing that tried to pull at the end of Life is Strange, the first season. What? Where they're like, oh, the way you have to go, you have, spoilers for season one of Life is Strange, if any <laughs> of our admittedly very queer audience has not played that for some reason. <laughs> but at the very end of it, they're like, oh, you can either go back in time and undo all this thing you spent with your friend, or you get to let them stay alive. And it's like, but we'll still have the memories if we do that, right? <laughs> nah, memories ain't shit. Keep them alive. <laughs> I see you've, you're you on the bay side of the save the bay versus save the bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Oh. Oh. We're flashing back. Do okay. you want to read them? Sure. Well, see you in 35 years. Though I guess it'll only be a few hours for you guys. <laughs> oh, we remember that. Oh, good times. Yeah, um, should we catch people up? It's been a little while. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That would require me to know where we were, too, though. <laughs> I mean, even last time, when we were only doing episodes, like, a week apart, like, we were bad at remembering stuff. There's a so. lot of stuff. There's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. Suzaha, I've made my choice. <clears throat> I won't ask for your forgiveness. Ultimately, I'm doing this to save Mayuri. But at the same time, the words you spoke on that rooftop are still strong in my heart. You entrusted to me your hope for the future. If I am to honor that wish and fulfill mine, then the time we spent together can never have happened. Oh. Help! There Numbers it goes. Numbers get bigger. Oh, shit. See, this game really captures the essence of what's satisfying in a video game. Watching, Watching... a number get bigger. <laughs> You're damn right about that. This is something that most visual novels lack, but Steins Gate gets perfect. And we made it to a new chapter. Sweet. The world shatters into geometric shapes that expand and contract like rubber toys. Light gathers between my eyes. Stars explode behind my eyelids. Gradually, color returns to the world. Ah! I wait for the vertigo to pass. Ellipsis. Ah. Cold sweat oozes from my temples. Pressing my fists against them, I slowly force the air out of my lungs. What? How does... How does... Like this. Pressing your fists against your... T oh, the... Like, and then in, into your lungs? But no, 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 no. <laughs> That's... You're, you're fisting your forehead right now. That's not... That's where my temples are. Oh, my God. Has the world line changed? Yes. Well, clearly he missed the little cut in there, but... I had to, excuse me, the lounge to, in order to check in on the divergence meter. 
It's gone. I checked the meter a few minutes ago, just before the world line changed. Now it's nowhere to be found. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, fuck. I quickly realized what's happened. Suzaha gave me the meter after we stopped her from leaving. My email undid those events. The number won't get of bigger Of course anymore. the meter isn't here. It still will get bigger. Put it back. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> you saw how that version ended. A surge of regret seizes my heart. I clench my teeth and endure it as best I can. <laughs> if nobody else remembers, then I alone will keep these memories of Suzuha alive. I look around the room. Mayuri and Karisu are on the sofa, doting, dozing on each other's shoulders. Daru, oblivious to the vulnerable high school girls behind him, is playing an arrow gay on his computer. I take a deep breath, turn on the TV. I flip to a news channel. The world line should have changed. I erased the time we spent with Suzaha. That should have allowed her to leap to 1975 without losing her memories. And the IBM 5100 should be in our hands now. We can use it to hack into CERN and erase the data they intercepted from us. Without that information, Moeka's men won't attack the lab. Mayuri won't have to die. That's how it should be. That's how it has to be. Otherwise, why did I sacrifice Suzuha's dream? The quickest way to confirm the change would be to check for any delays at Akihabara Station. Uh, Daru, is the Yamanote line stopped? We didn't do fancy voices for this playthrough, did we? Yeah, not so much. Alright. Huh, uh, I don't think so? Check online. What's online? I'm at computer. <laughs> Was that a variation on I'm at soup? Yes. Wait, I'm at the best part. <laughs> Hold on, I'm at soup. That's really good, actually. Please. Daru sighs and calls up train information. Uh, it doesn't look stopped. <sighs> Thank you, Daru. The world line has changed. Which means that our IBN 5100 should be in the development room. Mm. I head back there to search for it. But contrary to my expectations, I can't find it anywhere. So, just to catch people, the main difference, uh, the, the thing that we changed or didn't change last time was Suzaha was originally going to go back in time mm -hmm. to try to make sure, to secure us and IBM 5100 in the future, right? Yeah, and yeah. then she failed, she failed, she failed, she failed, she failed, she failed, failed, she failed, failed etc. But the reason she failed is because she waited too long to go. Her time machine got damaged by weather. Yes. So when she went back, it caused her to lose her memories. So... By sending that message, we allowed her to go back in her time machine before the weather damaged the time machine. Meaning, if everything went go goes to her expectations, she should have arrived in one piece. She should be able to secure the IBM 5100 and get it to us in the present day when we need it. That's what we're banking on. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it worked. What's going on? I look at my watch. It's 7.43 p.m. Moika's men attack at... What time again? My heart is pounding like a drum. That D-mail was supposed to fix everything. The trains are moving as scheduled, which means that Moika's men aren't about, about to attack. So why does it feel like nothing's fixed at all? The IBM 5100's absence is extremely disturbing. I want to sit down and think about where it could have gone, but a voice in my head is screaming that there's no time. I need I to know. calm down. I don't know. I think down. there's time enough at last. How many... I need to, at some point, when I deign to rewatch this, <laughs> I will count how many times you have referenced that uh, that um, Twilight Zone episode. And any other thing with the word time in it. <laughs> yep. It's hard to think straight after everything that's happened. I check my watch again. 7.46 p.m. Images from the assault flash through my mind. Myri bleeding to death on the floor. The smell of gunpowder in the air. I frantically shake the visions out of my head. I look towards the lab entrance. The door is yet to be kicked in by a team of hitmen. 
Swallow hard, petrified with terror. Please don't let anything happen. Wait, wait, was my recap wrong? I don't think so. I don't believe it. <sighs> Alright, well, it's past nine. I peek at a street through the window. Nobody's there. Are you waiting for someone? You keep looking out the window. Daru's right. I've probably looked out the window like 20 times in the past hour. And not a suspicious figure in sight. Moeka's men still haven't appeared. The raid was before 8 if I remember correctly. I think it's safe to say that my changes to the past have prevented it from occurring. Suzuha's sacrifice was not in vain. I let out a deep breath. I'm sweaty and disgusting. It's like my anxiety has pushed all the sweat out of my body. Big mood. <laughs> Mayuri. Kurisu. The two girls woke up from their nap about half an hour ago. Now they're eating cup noodles. Damn. If that ain't some kind of, like, lesbian culture right there. <laughs> 12 to 9, nap on each other's shoulders. 9.30, cup noodle. <laughs> Wait. Did you just say my name correctly? Karisu looks at me in astonishment, like she can't believe her ears. <laughs> When you're done eating, go home. It's late, so I'll go with you. Okie dokie. <laughs> I don't need an escort from you. I can get back by myself. Just listen. Daru, you too. Huh? I don't want to listen to you two. <laughs> Why not? Their early stuff is actually pretty good. <laughs> Have you listened to War lately? It really holds up. <laughs> the train lines running through Akihabara are operating normally. There's no bomb scare and no sign of Moeka or her men. Kurisu's taking the Sobo line to get to the next station. Ochanomizu, while Daru is going to the opposite way to Shinkoiwa. Mayuri and I are taking the Yamanote line to Ikibukoro, so we part at the station's ticket gate. There are surprisingly few passengers on the train. I guess most of the salary men are off for the Oban holiday. Who's up top, and are they characters from one of the previous uh, uh, games? I or just randoms? I don't know. They look like just randoms. I don't know enough about Chaos Head to tell you whether or not that's the cast or not. That's too bad. I watched one episode of Chaos Head and then, like, mentally just kind of was done with everything. Mary's playing a handheld game, the Ryanet Kakuru Action RPG. On the screen, her character is battling a gigantic Oopa. Oh. <laughs> oh no, she's into gotchas. Oh no. Chaos Head, by the way, was the previous game in the... Oh! Wait, hold on. Look right, right. One thing back. Chaos Head, Noah. There's I was gonna say... A, there's an advertisement for Chaos Head, Noah, right there. <laughs> I can't tell if that's... I think that might be them. I, 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 I would not them. be surprised if that was them. Uh, Chaos Head is not great. Um, I watched the first episode of the anime because... And that makes me an expert. Well, okay, <laughs> hear me out. I watched the anime of the game after this in the series, Robotics Notes, uh, which was phenomenal. I loved it. It did everything I liked about Steins Gate and was like 85% less creepy about it. Hmm. So like, great. And then I was like, oh, why don't I go watch the original? And Chaos said it was just <sighs> way too fucky. Okay. Like way too fucky. Anyway, it's the night of the 13th. And Mayuri's still alive. How many times have I watched her die? How many times have I tasted that despair? No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't save my childhood friend from death. She died again and again right before my eyes. But now, she's alive. Standing beside me, playing a gacha game. 
<laughs> using all of her hard-earned money to try to get those really rare JPEGs. <laughs> this is why I sacrificed our memories with Suzuha. It was the only way. I'm sorry, Suzuha. And thank you. Suzuha no longer exists in this time, but I hope my feelings will reach her all the same. Actually, come to think of it, why can't I tell her in person? Where in Akiba could the 50-year-old Suzuha be? Well, try asking Tenoji tomorrow. Probably know Suzuha on this world line, too. Hmm. I wonder if Suzuha remembers me. Hey, Okarin? Mayuri suddenly lifts her head. She looks at me hesitantly. Her cheeks are slightly pink. What? Why does she get nervous when you stare at her like that? Did I... <laughs> did I make you get a game over? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I apologize then. That's serious business. And I apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that. I apologize, but keep looking at her. Would it help if I bought you some more orbs for summoning heroes? <laughs> I hear they have these fancy new ones that all come in bunny suits. <laughs> They're like the regular heroes, but with bunny ears on them. Don't you want them? <laughs> Don't you want them? <laughs> Instead of starting a new game, Mayuri looks at me with concern. There's something different about you today, Okarin. It's almost like do, do, you're do, older. Do, 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 do. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like you've lived a long time since we last spoke. <laughs> and awful well, I mean, traumatic things have happened. <laughs> only some of those traumatic things wound up happening. Pretty much the entirety of- It all of... happened for him. Well, no, no, the entirety of the last episode ended the game. Okay. Yeah, like, like, so literally where we are right now, keeping in mind the time fuckery, we branched apart from last episode where instead of, uh, like when we sent, uh, when we decided to send the D-mail. So, effectively, anything that happened, like, that close time loop bit where he's trying to keep his friends happy for two days at a time or whatever, mm -hmm. that doesn't happen in this. Yeah, but every other bad thing still yeah, does. Yeah, every other bad thing still does. Um, but not that. <laughs> I remind myself that Mayuri is more perceptive than she seems. She must be perceptive. She has three bows. And big eyes. And big eyes. So she can see a lot. She proved that she, that she proved that when she figured out that Daru was Suzuha's father. I don't want to worry her too much. I want Mayuri to smile her usual smile without a care in the world. After all, it's over now. She's safe. I see we're back to uh, Ho and Kyoma mode. Uh, nothing is wrong. And I wasn't looking at you just now. I was devising new ways to bring chaos to the world. <laughs> really? You seem kind of tired. You say that like you're my childhood friend who intimately knows my moods and what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> my ma mad scientist is never tired. The mighty gray cells of my 170 IQ brain are always performing calculations, day and night. You notice the only people who ever talk about IQ as a measure of their intelligence are people who are really insecure about it? Yeah. Just an observation. <laughs> No, I'm running the whole SETI at home thing up here. <laughs> what do you think I use all that spare processing? <laughs> oh, but you should still take a break every now and then. Please, Okarin, for me? Oh, I suppose. Oh, she did the cat face. Having said that, Mayuri returns to her game. 
I feel cold stares all around me, but I don't care at all. Mayuri is here with me, doing everyday Mayuri things. Ordinary things. Like not... Everything is going back to normal. Like not getting horribly murdered. Exactly. Not getting murdered. It's a good day. Yeah. Good end. Good end. Thank you for playing, everyone. <laughs> we made it to Saturday. Yesterday was my first time home in a while, so I slept like a log in my comfortable bed. Could be because of my mental exhaustion, but that was my best night's sleep in a while. Before heading up to the lab, I stop and stare at the Brawn Tube workshop. The familiar mountain bike is gone. Suzuha liked it so much, she insisted on bringing it with her to 1975. The workshop door opens, and out comes Mr. Braun, rubbing his eyes sleepily. So here's my theory. Because she brought back the bike, it caused a time paradox due to the anachronistic bike technology, and she was erased from the universe, and that's why they didn't get the thing. I don't think that's what that's happened. That's my theory. I, it's a good theory, though. <laughs> Give me that. Okave, you've got free time. How about a job? It has a special offer. I'll hire you for one CRT a month. One CRT a month? So for one month's work, I get an old television? Hell no! When did Suzuha quit again? Suzuha? Who the hell's that? What? Was her existence erased completely? But that's impossible. I ain't got time to remember the name of some lazy part-timer who quit after just 10 days. Ah, he's just being an asshole. <laughs> Good old Jack Damn Hummer. Damn you and your misleading words, Jack Hummer! <laughs> oh, that was the police out there. Doing something. Oh! Shit. It's okay. And I thought I finally had some help for a change. That's what I hate about you damn kids. No dedication. <sighs> you know how it be. Also, uh, true fact, uh, his daughter is one of the main characters in Robotics Notes. Spoilers. It's not spoilers. She's the youngest of the cast in this game. It only makes sense. Spoilers. Oh, do you need mouse space? No, I'm good. Okay takes mouse space. It takes mouse space. <laughs> I bet she lied about liking CRTs, too. Got me good. Tenoji shrugs his shoulders, annoyed. Naturally, he doesn't know about Suzuha's true identity. Does the name Hashida Suzu ring a bell? At this, Tenoji's eyes go wide. I haven't heard that name in a long time. You knew her? Eh? Knew her? So now she's... It's been ten years already, huh? Oh god, flashing back to that letter is not fair. <laughs> ten years? Ten years since what? No. I don't want to know the answer. I think you do. Tenoji has a faraway look in his eyes, as if he's gazing into the past. Specifically, he's looking to the upper left. <laughs> she really helped me out. Why are you talking about her in past tense? She didn't have any relatives, not that I knew of. I wish I could have been with her at the end. At the end, there's only one thing that can mean. Even though the world line changed, Suzuha didn't survive to the year 2010. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, though, she looked peaceful when I found her. Peaceful? She didn't commit suicide? 
誰から吹き込まれたんですか。鈴さんは病気で亡くなったんだ。ネームハモネ話を信じてんじゃねえ。Suicide? Who the hell told you that? Suzu-san was sick. Don't believe any old thing you hear. She was sick? Sickness killed her? Uh oh, time sickness. Shouldn't feel good about that. But I guess you could say it's better than what happened before the world line changed. That's what I tell myself anyway. So, how did you know Suzu-san? She helped me out too. A long time ago. We used to be friends. Oh my god, let us have this moment. <laughs> I'm I was so sorry that I'm me. Hoping to see her again. <laughs> god damn it. Not everything has to be a constant stream of emotion numbing levity, you know. <laughs> it's what I do. All I do is that and hugs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm living in her old house now. Want to come pay your respects at the altar? I nod without a moment's hesitation. Tanoji closes up shop and we head off towards his house. From Chuodori, we head towards the station. I scan the Akiba scenery as we walk. Moe stores are still nowhere to be found on this world line. After a little hesitation, I look up at Radikan. It's gone. The satellite has vanished. All that's left is the hole that it made when it arrived in this time. When did the satellite disappear? Uh, about five days ago? You never know what's gonna happen, huh? But you mean Suzuha left before it rained? Which is what we were aiming for. Yeah. Like Tanuji said, his house is closer than expected. We take the train to the next station, Okachimachi, and then walk for about five minutes to a quiet residential area. This old one story house is where Suzuha once lived. I walk up to the front of the house, and there I see a familiar sight. Suzuha's bicycle. Wow. Motherfucker. That's not fair. You can't. I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. God damn it. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm not crying, you're crying. For a moment, I can see her there, squatting beside the bicycle. But the mountain bike Suzuha rode to the bronze tube workshop was shiny and new, and now it's old and covered in rust. Suzu-san loved that old thing. Even when she couldn't ride it anymore, she'd still polish it every week. God damn. It's been sitting there for ten years. Couldn't throw it away. I've maintained it best I could, but I guess nothing lasts forever. I gently put my hand on the seat. It's warm from sitting out in the sun. Suppose that, for the few days Suzuha was in Akiba, this bicycle existed in two places at the same time. The house isn't as messy inside as I expected, considering the state of the Braun Tube workshop. Hey, this is the first time seeing his home. Sure is. I guess that chipmunk keeps the place clean. Oh, come on. That chipmunk is gonna... Oh, oh. God. Yeah, I remember that face. <laughs> <laughs> that chipmunk is gonna grow up to work in... She works for some space agency. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. A wave of nausea hits me as I recall what Nai did at Ochanomizu Station. But I tell myself that was just an accident. Besides, that incident has already been undone. Tanuji Nai has done nothing wrong. 
Next to the living room is a child's room. There's a child's study desk and a red backpack on the floor. Nai isn't here. Which reminds me, Tanuji's daughter visits the workshop often, but not once have I seen his wife. He couldn't have married Suzaha, could he? I mean, she should have been a lot older than him when they met. As they say, love knows no bounds. Huh. I wonder what really happened. I don't know how I'd feel if those two were married. But I'm going to keep harping on it for an uncomfortably long period of time. <laughs> that McDaru Tanuji's father-in-law. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't do that. <laughs> nope. Actually, that would be kind of interesting. I turn to the Buddhist altar to pay my respects to Suzuha. There's no picture of her, so... There's no way to know what Hashida Suzu looked like at the age of 44. I make an offering of incense to her, then look around the house again. This is this house Suzuha lived in after leaping to 1975. When Suzu-san and I first met, we were neighbors. For some reason, Tanuji offers me a beer. On a decline, he shakes his head and starts drinking it himself. I was born and raised in Europe, you know? Hence the Jack Hummer. <laughs> huh? Is that a joke? Got a problem? I'll have you know my English and French are perfect. He really doesn't look like someone who lived abroad. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. My parents died about 15 years ago. That's when I came back to Japan. Or, I guess I should say I came to Japan for the first time. Weird. Suzu-san was living alone next door. She looked after me when I had nowhere else to turn. Alright, now's my chance. If I'm gonna ask, it's now or never. Wait, how old is Nai? Not very. Isn't she like single digits? Yeah. So then there's no way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you got married? Huh? Married? To Suzu-san. You high? I wish. <laughs> Phew. I knew she'd never marry a guy like him. She was a pretty stoic lady. Didn't have much of a social life. But she treated me well. So wait, Suzuha knew who he was when she came back. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dog. <laughs> my house burned down about one year after I moved here. It was my smoking bod that caused the fire. <laughs> so I deserved it. But still... <laughs> That's what he gets for bringing the gun show around with him wherever he goes. Yeah. <laughs> After I had lost everything, she let me come live here with her. That's not all. The Ohiyama building, where the workshop's at, that was originally Suzu-san's property. Dang. So, I rem she worked there, and because of her experiences working there, she ended up buying the building and giving it to who would become her boss when she was young yeah. in the future. Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. That's so good! Eh? You already knew that one. Come on, Okabe, you knew that one. She sold it to me for cheap. It's thanks to her the brown tube workshop exists. Oh, close time loops. I'm a fan. You could say she saved my life. Well, 
once I asked her why she treated me so well. It wasn't like we were related or anything. And then she said, one day you're gonna have a real asshole as a tenant, and you better keep that hint, you better keep him around, it's important. <laughs> she just smiled and said, We all depend on someone's kindness at some point in our lives. When the time comes, you pass the gift along. Anyway, I took that advice to heart and became a landlord. <laughs> she was kind of mysterious. She seemed to know exactly how things were going to happen, like a prophet. Suzuha. That was probably her way of repaying Tenoji for looking after her, even if it was just for ten days. And so it came full circle. It's a small world, huh? Never thought I'd meet someone else who knew her. Oh, right. Wait here a sec. Tanuji goes into the child's room next door, then returns and places an object on the table. Ah! Ha! You wanted it back! It's back. It's Suzuha's divergence meter. Number go up. <laughs> Before the world line changed, it was in the lab. But on this world line, Suzuha brought the meter with her to 1975. It's been in this house for 35 years. The tubes read 0.409431%. Divergence has changed, just like Suzu has said. This proves that my magic eye, reading Steiner, does indeed allow me to perceive changes to the world line, as if we still had doubt at it in this point in the <laughs> series. But what does the percentage mean? I recall what Suzu has said. When the meter reads over 1%, you've made it to the beta world line. Does that mean I'm still on the alpha world line? Do you know what that number means? Because I sure don't. All I know is it hasn't changed a bit these 10 years. But you know... When Suzu-san was on her deathbed, she used to stare at that meter for hours. Eh? She used to stare at that meter, talking to herself. Is this the old number? The new number? Did it work? Did it change? Oh god, stop with this. Stop with this. The perils of building a tool that you cannot read the outcome of because you don't have <sighs> magic chaos eyes. Yeah. Stuff like that, day in and day out. It hurt to watch. <sighs> I touched the device. If only she had picked the mystic eyes of death perception. <laughs> Suzuha. In my heart, I reach out to the girl who died ten years ago. To the girl who will be born seven years from now. To the girl who crossed time to save the future. Suzuha. Thanks to you, Mayuri is safe. Divergence has changed. But we haven't yet reached your ultimate goal. 1% divergence. Once that is achieved, the future you dreamed of will become a reality. I will carry on your fight, Suzuha. I promise. Okay, but hear me out. Yep. If we do that, then things will be better in the future. So then Suzu-san won't come back. Stop this. So then Stop. how would we get the computer? Let it happen. I realize that I'm crying. Also, let me read the line. I realize that I am crying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tanuji stares at me for a moment, then puts his giant hand on my shoulder. Rents due on the first. Altarine. <laughs> Mayuri comes out of the ticket gate and walks up to me with an unhurried stride. Do -do -do. I didn't think you'd come all the way to the station to pick me up. Mayushi's surprised. We haven't been able to do that in so long. Do you still have Tuturu app? Probably somewhere, I don't know. Oh. Tuturu. <laughs> I wouldn't want to let my hostage get away. She's... <laughs> She's a very cooperative hostage. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. So, Mayushi's really happy. <laughs> now, how do you pronounce the eighth note that shows up? <laughs> I don't quite understand, but whatever. Mayuri flashes a carefree smile, then walks ahead of me, almost skipping. <laughs> so, what's in the bag? Gwen's head? <laughs> Mr. Braun gave it to me. It's a device that can measure the divergence of world lines. Wow, that sounds amazing. What's a world line? I smile wryly. Mayuri, you're one of my best friends in the whole world. <laughs> And I value your friendship now more than ever. <laughs> what am I doing? After I left Tanuji's house, I called Mayuri to ask when she would arrive in Akiba, and I went to the station to pick her up. Anxiety still smolders in my heart. We managed to survive yesterday, but that doesn't guarantee our safety forever. It's, it's entirely possible for Moeka to attack now, on the afternoon of the 14th. Maybe I'm being overprotective, but I still can't shake the image of Mayuri's death from my mind. I don't ever want to have to go through that again. <laughs> oh, it's my line. Yeah. Just a thought, Mayuri, but don't don't call her a thought. <laughs> don't you think maybe you should stop coming to Akiba for a while? At least until Komima ends. No response. I look to the side. Mayuri? Panicked, I scan the area and catch sight of her wandering towards a newly opened ice shaved ice stand. Ah, oh, can't she tell how worried I am? So, you're the devoted type, huh? Karisu is glaring at me with an iced coffee in her hand. We're in the lab, which appears to have become her second home. That's a regular coffee that you let get cold. That's not iced coffee. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's not? It's really not. Iced coffee sucks, but under certain conditions can be palatable. Lukewarm coffee, coffee that was once warm and is now just room temperature, is disgusting. Always. Teach the controversy. There is no controversy. You can't make that into a controversy. There is. I like it. Okay. But, I mean, also you're wrong. Yes, that's true. But I like it. <laughs> wrong coffee at 9pm. <laughs> so, what's that supposed to mean? I'm sitting at the computer searching for intel on the IBM 5100. I still don't know where it is. I went to Yanabashi's shrine this morning, but alas, it wasn't there. Suzuha promised to get one to us somehow. Her gift to us from 1975. Without it, we can't hack into CERN's database, meaning we can't achieve diversions over 1%. All of a sudden, you're treating Mayuri like a princess. Oh my god, Okabe Sundere. Okabe is so Sundere. <laughs> Today, you went to the station to meet her, you taste-tested her lunch, and then you held her hand all the way back to the lab. 
So, when do we tell Karisu what's up? We need an adult who knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Okarin really loves Mayushi. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Did she have to tell Karisu of all people? Mayuri looks so carefree as she stuffs her cheeks with takoyaki. I'm pretty sure she's smiling, not because of my love, but because of the takoyaki's deliciousness. Typical Mayuri. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I mean, I only smile when I'm at home when you're feeding me. Oh. So, I mean, I have, I that's have fair. I have evidence to the contrary. Oh? Prove it. What evidence? Rewind the tape. They can hear you smile. No, they can't. Yeah. You can't prove that. They can't see me smiling right now. No, but they can hear it. No, they can't. But seriously, did you have to tell Karisu about that? <laughs> so, what's the deal? Turns out, does that mean this is off the table? I wasn't thinking of it as a long-term thing, <laughs> but like, you know, maybe once? <laughs> I don't follow. Are you a couple or what? I've been meaning to ask. Do, do we look like a couple? Obviously, yes, that's why I asked. Huh? Uh, well, uh, um. <laughs> Just what sort of delusions does this girl have? You know, Okarin and Mayushi have been friends since we were little. Yeah! Mwawuki's really how we know. Don't talk with your mouth full. Also, don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> so, you're not a couple. Oh. Well, of course, no one would willingly date Okabe, after all. I mean... Fair. fair. <laughs> Wait, no, there's one person who would. Daru. Yes. <laughs> we have established this. <laughs> Daru has said his real estate is open <laughs> and waiting for Okabe. <laughs> you disappoint me, Christina. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Maybe she's stuck in distressed face over here. Uh... <laughs> You have finally revealed your true nature. I saw how your eyes lit up at the faintest hint of romance. You're nothing but a filthy mainstream girl. <laughs> I bet you'd just love it if there was an entire spin-off visual novel dedicated to just romancing me with all the female characters. <laughs> Except for the best female character who doesn't get a romance arc for some reason. Hmm. Hashtag justice. That's it. <laughs> Just justice. <gasps> oh god, I'm still going. Yeah. I bet you like to eat chocolate with your girlfriends and giggle about the latest celebrity love affair. Absurd. This love has no need of the puppies and flowers in your head. It feels strange to be spewing this Chinibu nonsense again after what I've been through. Gugh. My inno is my innocence lost forever? I'm glad we finally got Chinibyo Okabe back. Ch Chinibyo? Ch Chinibyo? Yes. Ch Chinibyo. I believe so. Okay. What the hell are you on about, you self-proclaimed mad scientist Chinibyo nutcase? I'll kill you, subculture prick. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I argued with Carisu like this, too. The thought brings a sudden pang of loneliness. After failing to save Mayuri... I sought help from this genius girl. Even though her words were at times harsh, she supported and encouraged me to the end. But now, all of that has vanished, along with the time we spent with Suzaha. Thank you for your help, Karisu. I silently give her my sincere gratitude. There it goes. Hmm. I finished typing on the X68000's keyboard and sigh. And then I turned to the divergence meter sitting on the shelf. Display reads point, 
4.09431%. What does that mean? Well, it's a decimal number. <laughs> Smaller than one. <laughs> but bigger. Bigger than one third. Bigger than zero, even. The universe is like... Okay, imagine four, four balls, balls on, on the, the edge, edge of a, of a cliff. cliff. <laughs> <laughs> We're flashing back to Suzuha describing how world lines work. Yeah, 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 so basically, tons of different world lines that all kind of happen simultaneously, or exist simultaneously. And nearby ones are kind of drawn in at certain events of, in, like, incredible importance, called, like, convergence. Mm -hmm. Like... Despite whatever happens, certain world lines will get drawn to the same event. And that event happens, it's called convergence, because it draws all the world lines zeroed in. So the idea is that the convergence in this era is something that causes the future Suza has from to happen. So they want to get to a world line that's as far a that's far enough away from that point of, di of convergence that the world line they'll be on won't necessarily end that way. Except... Did I miss anything? Are we are we world line realists? Stop this. No, we have to know. Stop this. Because as far as I can tell, jumping world lines just means Okave doesn't experience that awful future, but it still happens. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Probably does. That's fucked up. A little bit. Are we just worrying worrying about any Tom, Dick, and Harry world line that comes into the... <laughs> Oh no. I anyway. hate modal realism. <laughs> so the beta world line. Right now, uh, we are part of a cluster of world lines called the alpha world line. Because uh, the alpha tractor field is the event that we're trying to avoid happening. They're going to jump right past the beta world line and into the omega verse. Yeah, stop this. Why are you like this? <laughs> Every time we record. <laughs> We haven't played this game in over a month, and yet, without fail, you were just like this every time. It's what I do. It's what I am. I can't help it. Does this all mean that I haven't saved her? Divergence is still less than 1%. Is the world still converging on Mayuri's death? It can't be. It can't be. I mean, nothing happened yesterday. Mayuri's here, safe and sound. Turns around, Mayuri is just sitting there dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Karisu's got like a wrench in her hand. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so nothing will happen to her. It won't. I want to believe that. But the, the doubt within my heart is growing thick and black. Slowly turning from a molder into a scully. <laughs> I can hardly think about anything else now. No matter how hard I stare at it, the number on the meter doesn't change a digit. So far, reading Steiner has only activated after we sent past changing D mails. Hmm. What about when I time leap? The vertigo I feel when I time leap might be caused by the reading Steiner. Or maybe it's just a side effect of the memory transfer. It's impossible to know. In any case, I've prepared for the worst. I've already set the Time Leap Machine's timer to send my memories three hours into the past. And with Jarvis' help, I found a remote for the 42-inch TV downstairs. Hmm. That was an option all along? Okay, to be fair, was that the first thing you would think of? Okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it would have saved so much trouble. But here's the thing. Like, every time you go to a new world line, you have to go and find it again. Because it's not something he got... Yeah, but it's also something they know they're going to need. Yeah, 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 true. Our previous phone wave, named subject to change, experiments made a hole in the floor. Instead of fixing the hole, I made it bigger. <laughs> Love that 9-up up, up there. The 42-inch CRT is right under the hole, so if I point the remote at the hole and press the power button, the TV turns on. Now, should things go wrong, I can time leap at a moment's notice. Wait, and so also Mr. Have... Brown can see them up through the floor? There's just an open hole? Maybe. It's underneath the microwave, so no. Okay. <laughs> He'd see a microwave. And also, I have future gadget number four, Moad Snake, on hand, in case of emergency. Okabe. Okabe. 
Oh, right, we haven't told these chads what's going on yet. Yeah. I admit, I am a bit... I do not remember how much they know at this point of leaping. I forget what happens in this. I don't know what happens in this game. I'm just... This is our blind playthrough. Never never experienced this story before. <laughs> Parisu enters the development room. Didn't you say we weren't going to experiment with the time leap machine? This is just in case. No, it's not. It's the time leap machine. Who's Justin? <laughs> God damn it. In case what? Turn slowly around. <laughs> I don't want to answer that. I keep praying that my fears will not be realized. It's okay. Everything will be okay. They didn't attack yesterday, so they won't attack today. At the very least, we've changed Mayuri's fate. But still, I can't help but pray. Please let Mayuri be safe. Please don't let anything happen. My prayers go unanswered. Hey! Sup? <laughs> that you missed us. Sup, fuckers? The door slams open. Uh-oh, they don't have Suzu to save them now. No, they don't. But Okabe did a bunch of prep this time. So. Okay. Five men burst into the lab. I recognize them. The rounders. They aim their guns at us. I freeze. Despair sees my heart. My worst fears have come true. It's happening exactly the same as before. Only this time, you're right. Suzuha isn't here to save us. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Even the dark-skinned man's words are the same. Eventually, the unpleasant clack of heels echoes down the hallway. You, you gotta get real close to the mic so people can hear you do this. Um, Moeka-san? We're taking the time machine back to Facebook. I suppress my terror and grab Mayuri's arm. Don't move. The crew man, the crew cut man says something he hasn't before. Makise Kurisu, Okabe Rintaro, Hashira Itaru, the three of you will come with us. You cannot resist. You have no chance to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Make your time. Come with us. You have nowhere to run. We have men stationed throughout Akihabara. What do I do? Should I use my concealed Moad snake right now? Use it and then time leap? But Mahiri hasn't been killed yet. I need to wait until that happens. There's a chance she might not be killed on this world line. Hey, you. Out there on the wall. <laughs> the crew cut man points his gun I like at that me. there's just an ominous oopa in the background on the left side. Yep. Yeah. My heartbeat jumps up. Cold sweat breaks out all over my body. I said, hands in the air. I've only raised my left. What are you hiding? Do it. I have to use it. Huh? I swallow my fear and activate Moad's snake. White smoke instantly fills the room, rendering it impossible to see. The rounders won't be able to aim through this. I have to time leap while it lasts. I grab my ear's hand, fumble through the smoke towards the development room. Shoot them. I hear the sound of guns firing wildly behind me. Ugh. Suddenly, my ear's arm gets heavy. I trip forward and land on my face. My Our hands were separated in the fall. I grope around and soon find her slender hand. Oh, Kari. Mayuri's feeble whisper reaches my ears. Was she hit? 
The rounder's blind shot hit my Yuri? It hurts. My Yuri's voice quickly fades away. Strength drains from her fingers. Mayuri, come on, get up! But Mayuri doesn't answer. But no one answered. <laughs> but cute. Cute. I'm sorry, Mayuri. Once again, I failed to save you. I thought I succeeded, but I was wrong. I hear my teeth grinding in my head. Stop! Stop! Don't shoot me! I hear Karisu and Daru screaming as the gunfire continues. Ugh! Sharp pain flares at the top of my head. I press down with my hand. It comes away soaked with blood. Ah! It hurts, it hurts, it hurts! It feels like someone took a saw to my skull. My ears are ringing. I stumble. I can't stand up straight. I need to get to the time leap machine. I squeeze Mary's limp hand one last time, then crawl to the development room, fumble for the headgear, and put it on. I point the remote at the hole and press the power button. The TV I forgot to change the batteries. <laughs> Damn it. The TV turns on downstairs. I can hear people laughing on the screen. Target A, target C secure. We're target B? Yeah. Karisu's the one who gets credited with inventing the time machine. That's true. She's target A. Also, she's the only one with any formal training or knowledge here or degree of competence. No, 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 no. That's not my... my. How are we not target C? Okay, true. We're the least important person in this entire equation. Absolutely. We should be target C. <laughs> run, Okabe. Run. Shit. I clench my fists in frustration. Time leap machine is already activated. The discharge phenomenon is starting. The floor begins to shake. Once again, I leap to the past. <clears throat> so. Hell yeah. So, that last time leap we just did. Or the, uh, the major event we changed by making sure Suzuha went back at first opportunity. <laughs> didn't change the fact that Mayuri died. But it bought us one day. It pushed it back a day, but it didn't stop it from happening. It's progress. Ah! The ah. world collapses, then reforms. Once again, I feel that odd numbness behind my eyes. The pain at the top of my head is gone. I wipe the sweat off my brow and look around. Look around. I can't see Moad Snake's vapor anymore. The air is clear. Karisu is reading a Western book, like usual. I oh, a to, Western. <laughs> I choose to believe she reads Westerns. <laughs> well, howdy, partner. She's picking up some Johnstone. Yeah, I just finished reading the book of the Hell's Half Acre novels. <laughs> now I'm moving on to those Jensen boys. <laughs> uh... Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll start reading The Mountain Man. <laughs> Hold on, I've got a few more. <laughs> Uh, Louis L'Amour. Yeah, I think that's, that's all of them. That's, that's all it. Westerns. That's it. The Louis L'Amour is the last one. That's it, all of them. It's him and John Stowe. Those are the two Western authors. No one else. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Zane Grey. Got another one. Maybe he's playing a handheld game while eating a banana. That's not about Westerns. <laughs> <laughs> Daru isn't here. I recall he said he was going out somewhere. Mayu- I quickly swallow my words. Okarin, you want a banana too? Narrator, it was not a banana. <laughs> when I wave my hand no, Mayuri tilts her head quizzically, then goes back to her game. <laughs> uh. Oh, my favorite month, Nupon. <laughs> <laughs> I sink into the sofa and close my eyes. Somehow I resist the urge to scream in frustration. I have to think. I erased our memories with Suzuha. I changed the world line. But it wasn't enough. The divergence meter still reads 0.4%. How, 
How do I get that above 1%? Wait. I try to solve the problem alone. It'll just end the same way. There I we go. I need to consult Kurisu. Thank you. Finally. Kurisu. Kurisu, uh, come with me a second. She does it immediately because he addressed her by her full name and she knows <laughs> that means shit's real. Shit's real. I lead her out of the lab. We sit on the bench in front of the building. Suzuha's bicycle is still absent. What is it? You don't normally say my name normally. Krisu frowns at her own words. It's weird when you use the same word twice. <laughs> that that came out said. weird. <laughs> Please. Help me. Now this is a shock. I never thought I'd hear those words from you. Do you have a fever? No jokes. I seriously need your help. You time leap, didn't you? Time leapt, but that's not important right now. <laughs> <laughs> I nod. We've got mail? Oh, from who? We didn't get mail last time. Oh, it's from Mayuri. You want to read it? Oh, Karin, where are you going? A date with Chris Chan? I'm jealous. I would like a date with Chris Chan. <laughs> date? Uh, our relationship is purely professional. She's my assistant, nothing more. Organ for jealous, we can... Jealous? You want to go on a date with me? <laughs> oh. I don't think we want to date uh, Mayuri. Okay. But also, clearly, no, Mayuri wants to go on a date with Chris Chan. Exactly, 100%. <laughs> How much do I know about what? How about Suzuha being John Titor? Eh? eh? Kurisu gives me a blank stare. Never even occurred to me. When we prevented Suzuha from leaving on August 9th, she ended up staying until August 13th. But that outcome was changed by my last email. What happened in what happened during those four days on this world line? Have you finished the time leap mission? Well, obviously she did. You used it. What are you talking about? I finished it yesterday after an all-nighter. Remember? Okay. Why is she? She clearly already figured out that we time le <laughs> leaped. So why is she interrogating like us like that? She knows we don't know. When did you leap from? 8 p.m. tonight. Looks like I'll have to explain everything all over again. Oh, we're getting mail. Hmm. Oh. I'm a little relieved. Why is that? I've never felt this way before. Oh. No replies to that one, though. I told her about Mayuri's many deaths, about what happened with Suzuha and Moeka, and I also gave a summary of what Suzuha told me about the structure of the universe. Kurisu does not appear to doubt my story. So basically, you win if you get the IBN 5100 back. Kurisu sums up what I told her. Oh! This is just a guess. But maybe you should look at what Amane-san said from the opposite angle. I think the critical change takes place when you get the IBN 5100 and erase the data in CERN's database. That instance is most likely when you'll achieve divergence over 1%. The problem is where the IVN 5100 is now. 
Oh, that old thing's been under my bed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You've already found it once. That is, if your memories are real. Come to think of it, are anyone's memories real? What is the past? <laughs> If you can get back to the world line where you first obtained it, then isn't it bound to return to you? Interesting proposition there, Karisu. Hmm. I see. You're right. The IBN 5100 was at the lab, and then it suddenly disappeared. You threw a fit about that earlier. I remember thinking, oh god, Okabe's finally lost his ability to distinguish fantasy from reality. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a wannabe American. What do you mean, oh god? Oh, I get it. Christian is really a Christian. <laughs> Karisu looks at me in disdain as soon as those words leave my lips. Changed my mind, not helping with the time shit. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I, I regret it too. <laughs> this is no time for puns. So, Christina, let me see if I understand what you're saying. The changes we've made to the world line, namely all of the D emails we've sent, must be reversed. That will return us to the world line where I found the IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. <laughs> Go back to the time before you did any of the time travel shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Time travel back to before you time traveled, it's fine. <laughs> from what I've experienced so far, I'm confident that the IBN 5100's disappearance from the lab wasn't due to theft. Durrell was sleeping at the lab, and whenever I was ar wasn't around, another lab mem was. The lab was occupied every hour of the day. It would have been impossible for someone to steal that heavy computer without anyone noticing. It makes more sense to assume that a D-mail caused us to diverge from the world line where I found the IBO 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. It's still a hypothesis. I only came to that conclusion based on your explanation. If you're mistaking your facts, deceiving me, or shooting off delusions, then this hypothesis will fail. I like how she understands that Okabe is being incredibly serious right now, but also still doesn't discount the fact that he might just be fucking with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this assistant of mine has no confidence in me at all. You can't just blindly follow this hypothesis either. You may have a safety net, but if you get careless and leave yourself without a way out, then you'll never get another chance to save Mayuri. Huh. I know that. And that is the one limiting factor. If we manage to change things in such a way that we wind up in a time without the time leap machine, or without a usable way to get to it in time, we're just fucked. Yeah. It's game over, man. Game over. But also, isn't it highly convenient that they always attack us at the lab? <laughs> so, in a couple of the Susa Hut, and the, the one, not the Susa Hut, yeah, I guess I'll call it. A couple of the times that, remember, a couple of the things that happened last time wasn't necessarily because they attacked us the lab. Remember, it just, at that time, events conspired to have Mayushi die. I mean, the other times were times that they where they didn't attack at the lab were times where they weren't at the lab because they preemptively tried to do something else. Right. We know they did try to attack us in other places. 
We just True. got back to the lab. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No, conveniently. N- conveniently, yes. How convenient. Mm. <laughs> I'd ask for Sousa has opinion, too, if she were here, but on this world line, she traveled to 1975 on the night of August 9th. There's no way I can speak to her now. Just send her a email. I can't decide if I think it's better or worse that Suzaha still winds up dying. I think that was the right narrative decision, but I lament the possibility of a 54-year-old Suzaha coming and hanging out with these chads. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Alternate universe fanfiction where Suzaha's just fine after time leaping that far. Nothing changes. He still has to go back and undo everything, but there's like... A 16-hour period where they get to hang out with 50-year-old, 4-year-old Suzaha. But also, if she doesn't die, that means that she's there at the same time as her younger self, and that's... Can give her younger self life advice. (laughs) Oh, this is so good. I like this. (laughs) This is why fanfiction exists. But also, it makes sense from the whole attractor thing and all of that. Like, oh, Suzaha-san might succeed or fail or whatever, or lose her memory or not, but she's still going to die. Yep. around the same time. Yep. It'll just be different circumstances. Yep. Time. You've got a line to read. Uh, I'm on strike. <laughs> well, that's fine. I support collective at bargaining. Uh, I'll read your line for you since you were on... T- Wait, no, that makes me a scab. Okay, okay, let's do bargaining. Um, If you read your lines, I'll give you a hug. Okay. Bargain, bargained. Yes. Why did the IBM 5100 disappear? Which of the D-mails caused its disappearance? That's a great question, Karisu. Figure that out, and you're well on your way to finding the solution. We should know that. What I don't understand is how we delayed the timing of Mayuri's death exactly 24 hours. True, that is interesting. Maybe it's related to the change in divergence. It could be the butterfly effect. If that's the case, any trivial change could produce a significantly deviant result. Oh, luckily Uh, I'm significantly deviant. Boosh! High five! Anyway, it's important to act with discretion. Don't do anything careless. Careless is my middle name. Your death, Okabe, is the worst thing that could possibly happen. I don't know. I just thought about biting into an apple and finding half a worm. Okay, your death is the second (laughs) Second worst worst thing that could happen. You're probably the only person who can remember previous world lines. If you die, then consider Mayuri dead for good. Yeah, that would be a problem. Don't die, okay? You're not worried about me, are you? Not the time. But also, soon, 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 soon. What? Don't be ridiculous. Why should I care? I'm not worried about you, okay? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm I'm just honoring our agreement that, that we have a truce until the Holy Grail War is over. That's all. <laughs> it's so not like soon. I like you or anything. But Baka. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Vivian made me watch uh, Unlimited Blade Works. I did. It wasn't terrible. I, it, it was even good at points. Not my cup of tea, but it was all right. Welcome to that shit. <laughs> okay, that's the general for the... All right, fair enough. I just don't want to lose a valuable test subject. That's all. Yeah. That brain of yours has accumulated memories spanning world lines and time leaps. It's a precious sample that can rewrite rewrite the history of neuroscience. Well, you ain't wrong about that. I want to map your brain and find out just what's going on in there. Is that an iconic line? 
What? From something. I feel like... Is it? I, f- mm, I feel like I saw that exact phrasing. Huh. Mm, I can't Could it have been Steins Gate? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I just thought of the worst possible version of Steins Gate. You ready? What? <laughs> Steins Gate, but... He finds a way to talk to himself from other timelines and for it becomes a council of Okabe's Rick and Morty scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Rick and Morty, but with Okabe and Karisu. Oh no. That is the no. worst possible version of this game. You are welcome. <sighs> In other words, your time leaping helped me too. After all, the time leap machine is the fruit of my research, so to speak, and I... Calm down. No. Soon. <laughs> Karisu turns away with a sour expression. This assistant of mine can be difficult sometimes. Anyway. I consider her, her hypothesis. In order to return to the world line where I found the IBN 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine, we need to cancel all the D-mails we have sent so far. The theory is sound, and I've got nothing else to go on. I check the clock. It's 6.42 p.m. One minute breathing lapse. <laughs> yeah? That was actually pretty good. I like that Thanks. song. Uh, I guess you might say that you passed the test. Yeah. That's so good for you. Yeah. <laughs> this song is evidenced by Catatonia, if that helps you out. They check the time a lot. Yep. I decide to time leap once more, to the afternoon of the 13th, to just before the time leap machine is completed. Christina, I'm going to give this plan of yours a shot. Oh, g- great. I take Carissa's hand and grasp it firmly. Ah. You've been a great help. I'm sorry for the trouble. D- don't apologize, dummy. It's confusing. Why can't there just be a VN where, like, there's a healthy relationship budding between two people? <laughs> and besides, I don't even remember helping you before. How are you going to take responsibility for this? Why is she getting mad at me? I just don't understand her. I wish I could remember too. Then I'd always have something to rub your nose in. You really have an awful personality. Oh wait, I did. I read that outline without thinking about it. <laughs> oh well. You're one to talk. Yeah. Okay. Fair. <laughs> With that, I leap 28 hours into the past. What is going on in the lower right-hand corner? Brains. I just realized I was pointing at the screen, then I tried to move my mouse. The mouse wasn't there. There was a brain there. Time leap complete. Self five. Nice. Nah, it doesn't work for Okabe. I'm standing in the lab, as usual. My brain feels like it's been pinched. I endure the pain as I check my watch. 1.47 1.47 p.m. Kreese's almost done with the time leap machine, and Mayuri's almost done with Lukaku's costume. They should both be done in about 10 minutes. So we have our plan of action now, right? We do. I leave the lab and sit on the bench in front of the Braun Tube workshop. Let's go over the plan. Cancel all the demails that have changed the past so far. Of course, that includes demails sent by people other than me. Specifically, I'm only concerned with the demails that triggered reading Steiner. We sent several of them as experiments. For example, Operation Urge Stage 2, the Lotto 6 experiment, involved one such demail. But the real problem is what other people sent. Mayui and Karisu haven't sent any demails. Daru sent his past self a strategy to win the Ferris Cup, but reading Steiner didn't activate, so divergence must not have changed. That leaves three demails to deal with. 
those sent by Moega, Lukako, and Ferris. Hmm. The most problematic is the one Ferris sent, which is also the most recent. I have no idea what it said, so I don't know how to cancel it. Ferris's D-mail caused a dramatic change to Akiba. All of the Moe stores disappeared. It's my only hint. I'm the only one who remembers how things were before the change, so I won't get an answer from Ferris, even if I ask her directly. But still, I have to at least try. I should... Oh, get... Oh! Damn. Whew! First, let's try contacting her by phone or mail. First, let's fucking save. Let's drop a hot save right here. All right. Let's just save that. So, I guess now we have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Do we want to see some of the other endings? Maybe so. We have a save conveniently placed for one, so... I would love to see as many of the non-canon endings as we can get. Let's do it. Because I think that has a lot of value, at least for me and my interest. Let's try to contact it by phone or mail. Meeting face to face would be best, but May Queen doesn't exist in this world line, meaning I have to go to that high class apartment complex. Is this one of those butt thou must moments? I should call it, try contact Ferris first. I decided to call her. Hmm. Okay, so it is a butt thou must. Okay. The ringtone echoes in my ear. This is a horrible ringtone. It's not connecting. Damn! I stab the end button, open up my mailbox. I'll write Ferris the mail. Please respond. It's Okabe. It's urgent. Contact me. There's no time. Just give it to There's her history. no time to lose. Wait, this isn't going to work on the one person who memes back at us harder than we ever could. <laughs> I'll just give it to her straight. I send it. Afterwards, I sit and stare at the screen, waiting. And we'll find out what happens n -n 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 next time. Yeah. See what I did there? Good to be back in the saddle. I'm, I'm glad we took a break. I'm ready to get back into this. Me too. I am loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'll leave. I'll leave that save just in case. But I'm pretty sure that was a butt thou must. Probably. Um, because the the uh, point it would if it was like the last ending, it would probably split um on whether or not we send something to erase the email. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. We're back on our bullshit. This is gonna be great. Um. Stay safe and six feet apart from one another. Oh, we're bad at that. I'm too close. Oh, no. Help. 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 We're close. <laughs> Maybe we're a bit too gay for this. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, see you all next time Um, when we will uh, try to track down Ferris and find out what the hell she changed. <laughs>